Johnson on the brink. That is the front page of today's Times newspaper as the UK Prime Minister fights for his political survival this morning. His government has been rocked by the resignations of Chancellor Rishi Sunak and Health Secretary Sajid Javid. Both quit over revelations that Johnson lied about the extent of his knowledge of misconduct allegations facing a newly appointed cabinet ally. It was a mistake, and I apologise for uh, for it. I think, in, in, in hindsight, it was uh, the wrong thing to do. Uh, I apologise to everybody who's been uh, badly affected by it. And I just want to make absolutely clear that there's no place in this government for uh, anybody who uh, is predatory or who uh, abuses their position of power. Bloomberg's Lizzie Burden is uh, on Downing Street for us. Lizzie, it's been described by, uh, by some as a, uh, the biggest day of drama in Westminster since the fall of Margaret Thatcher. And there have been some big days of drama in Westminster since then. So talk us through what happened last night. <laughs> Yeah, Anna, Boris Johnson is hanging by a thread here. Uh, it started off with that surprise, stern public apology that you heard just there over his handling of the Chris Pincher affair, uh, but it was followed quickly by the resignation of his health secretary, Sajid Javid, and then his chancellor, Rishi Sunak. Uh, the language of both their resignation letters was about integrity. They could no longer publicly defend the prime minister's position on what he knew about Chris Pinch's alleged sexual misconduct. Uh, then it was followed by the resignation of the Attorney General and a string of junior ministers suggesting perhaps that the tide has now turned on Boris Johnson. But he came back with an emergency reshuffle. He replaced Sunak with Nadeem Zahawi, Javid with Steve Barclay, the former Chief of Staff. Uh, but key figures have come out in support of Boris Johnson. Dominic Raab, Liz Truss, Priti Patel. The question is whether there'll be more uh, cabinet ministers walking through that door today. Good morning, Lizzie. What's next for Johnson? Really, can he survive this incident? Well, in the immediate future, next is Prime Minister's questions and the Parliamentary Liaison Committee. He faces the opposition leader, Keir Starmer, who missed really the open goal previously, uh, fo focusing on pers uh, politics ra policy rather than personality at PMQs. Uh, and the Liaison Committee is a tough crowd to please. It's the heads of all the uh, select committees in one room, so Johnson's going to face a grilling there. Uh, the, for him to be ousted, he would either have to voluntarily resign, which looks unlikely, or the rules of the 1922 Committee of Conservative Backbenchers would need to change because, of course, for now, he has a year's protection from another confidence vote. He recently won one, uh, but if the rules change, there could be one uh, much sooner than that. The argument that will be made against changing the rules uh, will be that it would create instability for future prime ministers, that a replacement for Boris Johnson would have even less of a mandate than him after his 2019 landslide majority. And cabinet uh, ministers will be looking at uh, other potential replacements for Boris Johnson and potentially not seeing anyone strong enough to win the next general election. But with Rishi Sunak now on the back benches, he's much freer to uh, organise support around him.